the ease in which I was able to get insights and just, it was just like, I just totally could not see the ongoing utility of Excel, traditional Excel. I couldn't see the ongoing utility of that. And even in some cases, lower level Power BI work, like easier, more simpler Power BI work. I was struggling to see the long-term durability of that when I used the combination of desktop commander and Claude desktop. Just the speed I was able to get in it, the versatility, the dynamic way I could create it. It was just like so superior in all different dimensions. That was an interesting experience, really interesting experience. It's not the best thing to post on LinkedIn, obviously, because of who owns LinkedIn, but I just... You got a lot of play on that post. I just want to call out something that I find quite fascinating is you keep getting the rationale even today that, well, how do you validate? How do you validate these insights? How do you know that they're right? I don't know what you think about this, but I kind of think a little bit cynically and I say, well, how did you know before? I mean, when you looked at a Power BI report, how did you know that it was right? Did you look at the formula? How do you know that when someone put an Excel spreadsheet in front of you, unless you'd like dug really deep into it, how did you know? How did you validate it then? Like the way you validated with it was with intuition. That's how you validate your reports and insights. It's how you did it before. I think it's how you do it. Now, if, if you're using AI to create insights, you let the AI do the work, you validate with your intuition. Right. Yes, you can go and dig a little bit deep if you want, which is kind of, it's just is easier than it was historically, but intuition played a role, you know, historically, and it plays a role now. 